Just this past February, water that was contaminated with ammonia was spread into the Line River in Rangoon, killing fish and other sea animals. Seven Day News Journal discloses that the contaminated water came from the steel factory. Factories are not cleaning their waste and instead dumping it on the ground and into the rivers. The pollution by the factories is not just killing fish and sea animals, but it is harming the people. If the water is given treatment without pollution, then the water can be dumped into the big rivers. However, if the polluted water were thrown into the rivers, there will be danger for the people, fish, sea animals, and any war or anything that drink the water. Due to the pollution of the rivers and change in climate, a fish merchant says that there is a big decline in the number of fish to sell. Now, the climate has changed and water level is low. Fish is not coming by easily. It is difficult to get good fish. Not only are the sewage systems contaminated, but the plants are also polluted. Burma's bi-weekly 11 journal reports that many factories are contaminating the water and the vicinity with sulfuric acid. With the licensing of dwelling and mining, the Irrawaddy River is in danger of toxic waste and a big decline in water level. The special zone law was released in Burma and the law invites foreigners to come here and invest in the country. Factories are open here. Agencies like the Environmental Impact Assessment are not contacted, but they should be reached to inspect their factories. Although Burma is a country rich in natural resources, Burma is seeing the decline of its environment. Some citizens criticize that the government pays little attention to the community or the country. Since there are no laws of pollution control or resource conservation, Burma is gradually seeing the loss of its environment. For Voice of America, I'm Kaylin.